I'm Fotis Danaskos, geologist and physical therapist teacher in secondary education in Greece with a master's degree in special education. I currently teach 150 students at the first and the second class of the high school. Uh, it's a lot of interest in geoscience as uh, we are doing projects and lots of uh, workshops on geoscience. The positive thing in my school is that uh, I have the big support of my headmaster, who is not a geoscience. In this uh, year's Ge General Assembly, I participate as a geoscience education field officer for Greece. My position as a geoscience education field officer it allows me to be close to the educational events in my country and collaborate with students and teachers on geoscience and environmental projects. I'm looking forward to the sessions on Wednesday, according to the challenges and the perspectives for the science of volcanoes in the current decade and the earthquake hazard and societal risk. What was the interesting memory from the two past AGU General Assemblies is when I asked the late chair of Education Committee of AGU, Chris King, for the participation of a group of my students with a special interest in geoscience, which I was allowed to do. And also the interesting thing was uh, the fact that uh, we talked uh, and we met online with a teacher from Nigeria. And uh, the setting was impressive and made a very good uh, impression on my students. There are three geological places uh, very important in Greece where I would like to visit with my students. The first is the Acropolis of Paleontology which is in Pikermi, and all the excavation uh, in this area have found an impressive skeleton remains of at least 50 species. And also where we always go with my students is Lavrio, uh, which is famous and known from the era of Pericles, when Athens sought a cultural flourishing, economic prosperity, and also strong power because of the silver mines uh, who gave them the opportunity to create an important war and commercial fleet. Also, another place is uh, the island of Tilos in the Dodecanes, where there are the, the last elephants in Europe. They became small because the island was very small. They couldn't accommodate the elephants, so they tried to survive. They adopted to the new conditions and became nano. Nano up to 1.5 meters. From the terrible eruptions of the volcanoes of Santorini, everything was covered. And uh, about 4,000 years ago, the nano elephants disappeared, having lived in the island for about 46,000 years. Goodbye to all of you. Hope to see you in Vienna, General Assembly 2023.